Ah, innovation. Life is a gift compared to the olden days where meat needed to be eaten raw and the equivalent of social media drama were witch burnings. Need a conspicuous item? Bam! Delivered. Too lazy to cook food? Bam! Delivered. Need a loving and caring wife? As long as you have money for a plane ticket to Bulgaria and head to a town called Stara Zagora. If you pass the qualifications that these lovely ladies meet and agree on a bride price, then everything is possible. Okay, this was off topic, but anywho, here are modern inventions and their past versions. Number 1. The Toaster Ah, the toaster. That delightful little machine responsible for transforming bread into crunchy, golden perfection. But before it came along, people had to rely on its rudimentary predecessor, the toasting fork. Yeah, imagine this. Before the convenience of electricity, folks were essentially just jabbing slices of bread with what looked like an oversized fork and holding it over an open flame. It was primitive, sure, but effective, as long as you didn't mind the occasional burnt edges. Or burnt fingers, for that matter. It was less breakfast preparation and more live-action fire hazard cooking. Now, the idea of an electric toaster started to sizzle, pun intended. During the late 19th century, one of the first attempts was the Eclipse, developed by Compton and Company in 1893. This was a basic contraption consisting of exposed heating wires that would quite literally toast the bread if you were patient enough to watch over it. Here's the catch. It wasn't exactly user-friendly. There was no automatic pop-up mechanism. So if you got distracted and forgot your toast, you'd end up with a slice of charcoal instead of, well, a toast. Still, the invention was groundbreaking because it removed the unpredictable nature of open flames from the equation. Well, kind of. Early electric toasters were temperamental and had an annoying tendency to short circuit, but these innovations paved the way for the automated pop-up toaster we know today. So in short, before you complain about your toaster burning your bread slightly, Spare a thought for those brave souls wielding toasting forks over open fires or risking electrocution with the first electric toasters. Number 2. The Microwave A marvel of modern convenience, capable of turning cold leftovers into piping hot meals in mere seconds. But before we had the zapping wonder, people relied on a rather humbler predecessor. The traditional oven and stove. Yep, there wasn't a single gadget specifically designed for quick reheating. Back in the day, if you wanted to warm up last night's stew or revive a cold cup of tea, you had to fire up the stove, endure the painstaking wait for it to heat, and hope you didn't burn your meal or your patience in the process. Now, the first inklings of a dedicated quick heating device came not from culinary ambition, but from sheer scientific curiosity. Enter Perry Spencer, a self-taught engineer working with radar technology in the 1940s. The story goes that while fiddling with the magnetron, a device that emits microwaves used in radar systems, Spencer noticed that a candy bar in his pocket had melted. By noticing that the microwaves, get it, had the capabilities to melt something quicker and I dare say less resource consuming, he had an aha uh -huh! microwaves could cook food. This revelation led to the creation of the first microwave oven, the radar range in 1947, a machine the size of a refrigerator weighing over 700 pounds and costing a small fortune. It was designed for commercial use, not for your average household. Restaurants and food businesses loved it for its speed, but your everyday person, mm, not so much. After all, how many people had a spare corner for a machine that looked like it belonged in a nuclear lab? Eventually, by the 1960s, manufacturers figured how to shrink the technology down, and the microwave became smaller, cheaper, and far more accessible. This was a game changer. It transformed kitchens, saved countless of hours, and probably single handedly created a frozen dinner industry. Number 3. The Car A pinnacle of engineering that gave humanity the freedom to zip around without depending on horses or sore feet. But before the roar of engines filled the air, there were its more humble predecessors wagons, carriages, and carts, all drawn by the MVP of early transportation, the horse. If you wanted to get anywhere, you needed a trusty steed and a good supply of oats. It was efficient enough, until the horse needed a break. The leap to mechanized travel started in the late 18th century with a quirky little contraption called a steam carriage. These were essentially wagons powered by steam engines, 
huffing and puffing their way down the roads like an unhappy wife catching their husband's gambling. Inventors like Nicholas Joseph Cugno, Cugno, Cugnot, uh, a Frenchman, tinkered with these machines in the 1760s. His steam power vehicle could move at a whopping 2.5 miles per hour. That's right, slower than a brisk walk and about as graceful as a drunk elephant. It wasn't exactly practical, but hey, it was a start. Then in the 19th century, things got a little sleeker. Carl Benz entered the scene in 1886 with his Benz padded motor wagon. Widely regarded as the first true automobile, this three-wheeled wonder ran on an internal combustion engine and could hit a blazing top speed of 10 miles per hour. Revolutionary? Absolutely. Convenient? Well, only if you enjoy cranking at the start and be as fast as a motivated pig. Oh, and let's not forget that early cars were luxury items, accessible only to the super rich. As technology advanced, so did the car's design and accessibility. By the early 20th century, Henry Ford and his Model T transformed the automobile from a plaything for the elite to a practical tool for everyday folks. Ford's assembly line production cut costs and time, making the car affordable enough for the average worker. Suddenly, horsepower was not in the barn, but under the hood. Number 4. The Vacuum The vacuum cleaner is an invention so essential that we barely notice its brilliance anymore. But before we had these sleek, humming marvels of modern cleanliness, there were its predecessors. And let me tell you, they were wild. Meet the carpet sweeper, the first attempt at mechanized floor cleaning. It was first shown in the 19th century, and while it was revolutionary for its time, it was essentially a glorified broom with wheels. Sure, it picked up some dirt, but it missed plenty. But if we're talking about the direct predecessor of the modern vacuum, we must introduce the granddaddy of suction technology. <laughs> granddaddy. <laughs> the manual vacuum pump, aka the whirlwind. Invented in the 1860s, this contraption required serious elbow grease. You had to crank it by hand while maneuvering the nozzle, which made cleaning feel less like a chore and more like a full body workout. And after all that effort, it barely sucked dust to move. Now, things took a turn for the dramatic in 1901, when Hubert Cecil Booth unveiled the Puffing Billy, the first powered vacuum cleaner. This beast of a machine was gas-powered, horse-drawn, and about the size of a small elephant. Booth's vacuum, if you noticed, didn't fit inside homes, so it stayed outside, and long hoses were snaked through windows to suck up dust. Neighborhood kids love it, but homeowners, not so much, especially when the engine's roaring sounded like a steam locomotive crashing through your living room. And let's not forget the dangers of early vacuum tech. The first electric vacuums which came along in the 1910s weren't exactly OSHA approved. With exposed wires and overheating motors, they posed the risk of short circuits, burns, and occasionally setting the carpet you were trying to clean on fire. So yes, while modern vacuums might annoy us with a loud hum or an unexpected dust bag explosion, at least they won't try to bring your house down. And last but not least, the refrigerator. A true hero of the kitchen, keeping our leftovers fresh, our milk unspoiled, and our ice cream perfectly scoopable. But before this cool invention came along, people had to get creative with their food storage. Their primary predecessor? Ice boxes. These were essentially insulated wooden cabinets with a compartment for a big old block of ice. Think of it as a fridge without the plug and with a lot more work involved. Now using a nice box wasn't as simple as tossing in your groceries and walking away. First, you had to source the ice, which was delivered by the neighborhood ice man in a wagon. Fun fact, if you didn't tip the ice man well, you'd end up with a smaller block of ice and maybe a side eye. Once the ice was in, you had to regularly drain the melted water, which often leaked out and turned your floor into a soggy hazard zone. Oh, and forget about keeping anything frozen for long. Ice boxes were more about delaying spoilage than truly preserving food. The dangers and downsides didn't stop there. If your ice came from a polluted source, which wasn't uncommon in the 19th and early 20th centuries, it could contaminate your food. Imagine opening your ice box, expecting fresh milk, and instead you get a bacteria party. And let's not overlook the obvious. The ice only lasted a few days, so constant re-upping was a necessity. It was more of a part-time job than an appliance. Enter the mechanical refrigerator in the early 1900s, which used compressors and refrigerants to keep things cool. 
but even these early models had their hiccups. The first refrigerators relied on chemicals like ammonia, methyl chloride, or sulfur dioxide. Great for cooling, terrible for your health. Leaks could cause everything from mild nausea to, well, death. Talk about a chilling side effect. Fortunately, by the mid-20th century, safer refrigerants were developed and the refrigerator as we know it became a household staple. It eliminated the ice deliveries, the leaky floors, and the fear of accidental poisoning. It also paved the way for modern conveniences like frozen pizzas and popsicles. A true win for humanity. Now with all these inventions in mind, which one was your favorite? Comment down below and see you on the next one. Stay stable.